Well, he inspires them and he is inspired by them. Tonight, a 14 year old is back home after the trip and experience of a lifetime, one where he shared his message of hope. Matt Henson has more. Let's go check out this, the Skywalk or whatever it is. It's Gabe Schwarzlander's dream day, his first ever Minnesota Vikings game. It's going to be awesome. I've never seen anybody play. It's an opportunity the 14 year old almost never had. Uh, second column to the left. That's Gabe pointing to his room at Hennepin County Medical Center, where he spent a month this summer after he was critically burned in an ATV accident near his home in Bemidji. He watched from his hospital bed as the finishing touches were put on U.S. Bank Stadium, the home of the Vikings. Did you ever think you'd be here after what happened in June? Yeah. Shortly after the crash, the Vikings received a letter from a friend of one of the boys who was also on the ATV that day. The Vikes then invited Gabe and Justin Nelson, who also sustained burns in the accident, for a weekend they would never forget. Well, it's great. I mean, just a kid from Bemidji and it's all the way down the cities. Which included a rare tour of the Vikings practice facility, where they got to take a nap on Coach Zimmer's bed in his office. Play on the field, film a segment for the Vikings Beyond the Gridiron show. Gabe, you want to break us down? Yeah. Gabe was even given the honor of breaking the last huddle before game day. Squad out three! One, two, three! That means a lot. I mean, it shows that they like, they like to have everybody. They like to include people and in how they feel bad for people and want to make things better and everything like that doing everything they can. Honestly, you know, that kind of stuff inspires me because, uh, you know, obviously he had a challenge in his life and uh, for him to be able to overcome it and have such positive attitude, it's it's uh, really an inspiration for me it's, and it's awesome to meet people like that that are just uh, positive in any situation that, that comes their way. Finally, game day. Yo, know cool it'd be if your face was up there? A young boy just eager to check out his seat. Oh my God ready to cheer on the Vikings, who were looking to end a two-game losing skid. But disappointment. I thought no way he'd be able to make a 57-yarder. As the Lions snag a come-from-behind win in overtime. Well, I thought we were going to win. But for Gabe, it's not about the scoreboard. The Vikings will always be winners for the love and compassion they showed him. Well, it's probably one of the best things in my life that's happened. Gabe had to sit out this football season due to his burns. He attends rehab once a week and still make trips to the HCMC for checkups. His recovery is expected to take about another year. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.